Is investing in the stock market gambling? Let's get into it. All right, so is investing in the stock market and gambling? For some people, is yes. For some people, is no. So I'm going to give you the answer that I have. Basically, when it comes to investing in the stock market, it's all about strategies. If you invest in the right way, it's not gambling. When you look at the trend of the stock market over time, it's always in an upward trend. Yes, there are going to be some pullbacks along the way, but through its uh, life and existence, it's always been more on a positive run uh, than in the negative overall, all right? So one of the strategies that many people do where they're in a the position where they always win overall, not necessarily today or tomorrow or in the month, but overall is a, what we want to look at. So dollar cost averaging is one of the best ways you can uh, invest in the stock market. Now, I don't give financial advice. I'm not giving you financial advice on this video. I'm just telling you um, what I've done and what most people that succeed in the stock market have done throughout time. All right. So let's look at dollar cost averaging. So let's go here. And um, so dollar cost averaging here. All right. So as we can see, dollar cost averaging uh, is a system of regularly buying a fixed dollar amount of a specific investment, regardless of the price. All right. So basically what that means is every week or every month or when i would decide to invest i'm just going to keep buying the stock every time i get a chance i just keep buying the stock it doesn't matter what the price is and over time every time there's a bull run uh in the market what's going to happen is everything i put in is going to increase in value so my portfolio is going to increase in value if I stick with this strategy. So everything is about strategy. All right. Next. Day trading is another strategy that people do. Now, when it comes to day trading, uh, it's not going to be good for everyone to do. So it's a, a specific type of person that this is going to be good for. So basically with day trading, I have my capital or my, my funds, money, or whatever you want to call it. And every day I'm looking to find different pockets to, to put money in and take it out. So you have, you know, shorten the market, which is basically making money as the stock goes down. And then you have loans or calls. You're making money as the money is, is, as the stocks are going up in value all right so looking uh, a little bit deeper into day trading you also have what we call options which can be day part of a day trade or it can be a long-term investment so let's look a little bit more of what uh options are so one second here so options, options are, so we're going to look here, is it, an option is a contract given the buyer the right, but not the obligation to buy. All right, so down here, let's look at what it says here. So an option is a contract giving the buyer the right, but not the obligation to buy in the case of a call or a sale in the case of a put the underlying asset at a specific price on or before a certain date all right and so sorry and so basically um with these options 
as I stated before, a call is if you speculate that a price is going to go up in value. And so you, you're going to put a call in. If you think the price is going to come down, you put a put in. Now, what can happen and why this is risky is if, for me, for example, th th this week, um, I put a, a a call on for a stock and guess what it did? It didn't go up. It went down. So that means I lost money. All right. So that's kind of the concept when you're dealing with options. And another thing you want to do with options is you want to leave yourself with enough time for things to actually kind of move. So you have one day options, you have one week options, you have one month options, you have six month options. So for me, I like to leave myself with a little bit of wiggle room. And I typically will go with uh, two to, to six weeks out. If I'm more in a shorter term strategy, if I'm more long term, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get contracts for six months to a year out. So it's really all about your strategy. So if you're going to be doing day trades with puts and calls, be very, very careful. And we can go a little a lot deeper into that in another video. If you want, let me know in the comment section below. All right. Now. The next thing we're going to talk about is 401k. So your retirement funds typically are going to be in a 401k. All right. So I've had 401ks and they've always given me a good return. So let's look at 401k. So a 401k is a company sponsored retirement account to which employees can contribute income while employers may match contributions. All right. So in the case of a 401k, basically, if I'm putting one hundred dollars in, maybe the company puts fifty dollars in for every one hundred. All right. And so this obviously is going to come with a cap. Right. So maybe they'll invest up to your, you know, seven percent or whatever your salary may be. Right. So those are things to consider. Uh, another thing with the 401k is I've seen this happen too. So the first company I work for, and I've been in IT for a while as well. I'm also a, a CFO for a company, but the first company I worked for, I noticed, and I think it was 2008. I want to say is when there was a stock market crash. And so there was a, a woman that I worked with. She probably was retirement age in her 60s. She had all these plans to, uh, you know, do these things with her husband. And guess what happened? Right as she was ready to retire, her portfolio was chopped like 30 to 40 percent. And so she's sitting at the desk crying, you know, can't believe it. She thought the market was just going to keep going up and up, just like a lot of people do. And what this caused her to do was have to work like 10 more years. So this is why you can't solely depend on the stock market. You have to have different forms of uh, investment. So you want to be investing in real estate. You want to be investing in precious metals like gold, silver. All of these things need to be a part of your retirement process because you never know when you're ready to retire, the market might not be ready for you to retire. And yes, in some instances, um, when the market does go down, maybe it goes back up within six months to a year, but you never know. Like in her case, she had to wait several years out in order for her to retire. So think about that as well. All right. Now, Roth IRAs, uh, I, I have one of those as well. I haven't used it much in, in, in a year, in a few years as far as investing, but that's something I'm planning on uh, getting back into. So with uh, Roth IRAs, let's go here. So for Roth IRAs, a Roth IRA, an IRA or an in individual retirement account is an account for your retirement that enables you to delay paying taxes until the money is withdrawn. So it's similar to a 401k, but instead of the account being managed by your employer, this is an account you choose and manage yourself. So keep that in mind. 
So if you're somebody that wants to kind of control uh, the way your investments are kind of uh, diversified, you have the option there. All right. So, so to answer the question, is investing in the stock market gambling? I think the answer for me would be yes and no. It depends on your strategy. So with the right strategy, you can't go wrong. But with the wrong strong with the wrong strategy, you you I mean you're I mean, yes, you may be able to hit a few home runs here and there, but overall dollar cost averaging, if you're gonna be going on an individual basis, will be the best way to invest in the stock market. Um if you are gonna go with calls and puts and trade with options, keep it low risk, high reward, meaning keep your option investing to a minimum. So if you can find contracts that are $20, $15, $30, $40, $50, you wanna stay in that realm and you know maybe those options will give you a return of a thousand dollars all right so that's kind of the strategy that i like to roll with as far as options go now i have made mistakes before where i put you know uh let's say a a thousand dollars on something that i really thought was going to go you know up in value and guess what it did It, it it went the opposite way and maybe I lost, you know, several hundred dollars doing that. So again, it's all about your strategy. When you're dealing with options, please, please, please do it at a minimum. Because if you go in on a day contract, you can potentially lose all the money that you put in. So never put all your eggs in one basket. Always diversify when it comes to investing in this market. Be smart. Stick to your game plans be patient and you'll have good returns. So overall, I would say, again, stick to the the dollar cost averaging. And, you know, if the market moves up in a couple of months and and you see the return that's nice for you and you want to take it, take it, take your profits. It's your money. All right. So I hope this video helps you kind of see if the stock market is gambling or not. For me, the answer is definitely a no. I've always had good returns, dollar cost averaging. I've always had uh, good returns uh, with 401ks. I've always had good returns with Roth IRAs. And also, guys, if you guys uh, want to get uh, free stocks, I have my Webull link down below. So Webull will give you up to $12,000 and up to, to six stocks. So make sure you guys click on that link below. Use my affiliate uh, link to sign up. And all you have to do is put one one penny in that account in order to get uh, potential uh, stocks worth up to $12,000. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, we're signing out, guys. Peace out.